Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve some bacterial growth related mathematical problem. In my previous video, I have already discussed about some basic formulas regarding bacterial growth. Stay tuned to this video. The first question. If you start with a population density of 100 CFU per ml of a bacterium that divides in every 20 minutes, what will be the population density at the end of one hour? Assuming the cells are in the log phase of growth. To solve this question, we have to consider the formula f is equal to i into 2 to the power n, where f is the final number of bacterial population, i is the initial number of bacterial population, and n is the number of generations. Here it is written that if you start with a population density of 100 CFU per ml of a bacterium, that is the initial number of bacterial population here is 100 CFU per ml, that CFU means colony forming unit and the bacteria divides in every 20 minute that is the time taken for one division here is 20 minute and we have to calculate the population density at the end of one hour that is the total time for division here is one hour and the, all the bacterial cells are in log phase of growth so the number of generation n is equal to total time for division that is 1 hour divided by time taken for 1 division that is 20 minute. So the number of generation is 1 hour by 20 minute that is 60 minute by 20 minute that is 3. So the number of generation here is 3. So if you know the total time of a for a division of a bacterial cells and the time taken for 1 division of a population of bacteria you can easily calculate the number of generation of that bacteria. Next, we have to calculate the population density at the end of one hour. The final number of bacterial population F is equal to 100 into 2 to the power 3. That is 100 into 8. That is 800 CFU per ml. So the population density at the end of one hour will be 800 CFU per ml. If you remember this formula and you know the initial number of population of bacteria and also the generation time, also the number of generation of a bacterial population, you can easily calculate the uh, final density uh, uh, of a bacterial population at a certain period of time. So always remember this formula. By If you remember this kind of formula, you can solve a different kind of question regarding the bacterial growth. The next question. If a bacterial population increases from 10 to the power 2 cells to 10 to the power 8 cells in 10 hours, then determine the number of generations in 10 hours. As we know that the number of generation n is equal to log nt minus log n0 divided by 0 0.301, where n0 is the number of uh, initial number of bacterial population and nt is the number of population at time t. Here the population increases from 10 to the power 2 cells to 10 to the power 8 cells in 10 hour. So the initial population number of bacteria here is 10 to the power 2 cells and the number of population at time t that is 10 hour is 10 to the power 8 cells. So we have to determine the number of generations in 10 hour. n is equal to log 10 to the power 8 minus log 10 to the power 2 divided by 0 0.301. Log 10 to the power 8 means 8 into log 10 base 10. And log 10 base 10 means 1. So log 10 to the power 8 means 8 into 1 that is 8. So uh, by that that n is equal to log uh, 10 to the power 8 minus log 10 to the power 2 divided by 0 0.301 means 8 minus 2 divided by 0 0.301 that is uh, 20 generation. There will be 20 generations in 10 hour. So the number of generation in 10 hour will be 20. So if you remember the formula and you know the initial population, final population of a bacterial population, you can easily calculate the number of generation of a bacterial population. The next question. If a bacterial population increases from 10 to the power 2 cells, to 10 to the power 8 cells in 10 hour, then determine the growth rate constant. As you know that the growth rate constant k is equal to log nt 
minus slope n0 divided by 0 0.301 into t. Where n0 is the initial population number of bacteria, nt is the number of population at time t, n is the number of generation and t is the time. Here the population increases from 10 to the power 2 cells to 10 to the power 8 cells in 10 hour. So the N0 that is the initial population number of bacteria here is 10 to the power 2 cells. And the final population of bacteria at 10 hour is 10 to the power 8 cells. And time is T is 10 hour. So K is equal to log 10 to the power 8 minus log 10 to the power 2 divided by 0 0.301 into 10 hour that is 8 minus 2 divided by 3.01 hour that is 2 generations per hour. So the growth rate constant of the bacterial population will be 2 generations per hour. So again you have to remember the formula growth rate constant k is equal to log nt minus log n0 by 0 0.301 into t and if you know that the initial population number of bacteria, final number of population of bacteria and also the time, you can easily calculate the growth rate constant. The next question, if a bacterial population increases from 10 to the power 2 cells to 10 to the power 8 cells in 10 hour, then determine the generation time. As we know that the generation time g is equal to 1 by k. Where k is the growth rate constant. As we have already known that the k is equal to log nt minus log n0 divided by 3, 0 0.301 into t. So n0 is the initial number of population of bacteria. nt the number of population at time t and t is the time. So k is equal to here the initial number of bacterial population is 10 to the power 2 cells and the final number of population at time t is 10 to the power 8 cells and time t is 10 hour. So k is equal to that is gener, uh, grow, gener, um, k is equal to that is growth rate constant it equals to log 10 to the power 8 minus log 10 to the power 2 divided by 0 0.301 into 10 hour that is 2 generation per hour and the generation time g is equal to 1 by k that is 1 by growth rate constant that is 1 by 2 hour per generation that is 0 0.5 hour per generation. So the generation time of this bacterial population is 0 0.5 hour per generation. So if you know the growth rate constant of a bacterial population you can easily um, calculate the generation time or if you know the generation time of a bacterial population you can easily calculate the growth rate constant. So you have to know the formula. You have to know and remember this formula to solve any kind of question. The next question. If a bacterial cell divides once in every two minutes and takes one hour to fill a cup, how much time it will take to fill half the cup? Here uh, this is not mentioned that how much bacteria is required to fill a cup. Um, so you have to assume. Suppose there are 500 bacterial population and that is required to fill the cup. And it takes hour. As it is written that um, the, to fill a cup it requires one hour. So 500 bacterial population is required to fill a cup and it takes 60 minutes to form 500 bacteria. Now half the cup is half number of bacteria that is 250 bacteria that is just before the final division that is it takes 60 minus 2 minutes that is 58 minutes to fill half the cup as the bacteria divides once in every 2 minutes that is 2 minutes is the doubling time of the bacteria so uh, and the 60 minute time it will take to fill the cup as the growth is exponential. Thank you so much. Please remember all this kind of uh, all this formulas. If you remember all this kind of formula, you can solve any kind of question. So thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel.